You may have already heard the term Fortune 500 when referring to the success of various companies. But in case you haven't, the Fortune 500 is a list of the largest companies in the United States compiled by Fortune magazine, ranked by gross revenue figures for the entire year. For a company to make the list, over $5 billion annual dollars in revenue is required. You may not be surprised that Apple sits at number 3, with over $233 billion in annual revenue, right under ExxonMobil and Walmart. But it gets even more impressive when a subdivision of a company, in this case Apple's wearables division, is pulling in as much quarterly revenue as a Fortune 500 company. This is all due to strong sales growth in Beats, AirPods, and Apple Watch products. Apple's chief executive Tim Cook noted that the demand for AirPods significantly exceeds supply and is still very much in the ramping mode. Watch sales this quarter were driven by the Series 2, with Apple rumored to be working on a third gen Apple Watch premiering later this year. Getting into the Fortune 500 isn't easy, but what about the top 100? Over $28 billion in annual revenue is acquired to make that top 100 list. Apple's service division is sitting proudly at that 108th spot. Tim Cook suggests that the company's services business, which encompasses Apple Music, the App Store, and more, could grow to the size of a Fortune 100 company within 2017. Based on Apple Services revenue growth, at 18.5% average, it is reasonable for the division to have a four-quarter gross revenue of $28.8 billion, which would effectively put Apple Services in 98th place. Tim Cook is still looking for bigger improvements, with plans to double the size of the services business by 2020, a prospect that could certainly happen if Apple is able to continue growing at its current rate. For more news, reviews, and how-tos, check out AppleInsider.com and subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube.